You're watching Andy Tube, and this is part 31 of a Singer Model 404 restoration series. And I'm at the point now that I'm going to install a light bulb and uh, put the light lamp shade back on the machine. And uh, you know Singer, they, they call it the light lamp shade. Like there's a lampshade for the motor or a needle bar lampshade. But I'm just going to call it the lampshade. A lot of people just call it the light cover, which makes you know a lot of sense. Part of this, which we didn't look too close at when I took it off, is this glass, which surprisingly they just called the lens. Uh, how about that? The lens. I can get a little more light over here on it. Whoa! <laughs> that didn't that didn't do much for you. <laughs> Sorry. So you see there's a it's kind of flat inside, but there's a raised part here and there's a big bulbous part. And in some of their literature they call that the focusing lens. And they also describe it as blue glass. And if you put it on uh, something white, you will see it has a tint of blue. So they call it the lens, and in parentheses, blue glass. But anyway, there's a little clamp in here that holds the lens in place and a, and a groove it slides into the groove to stabilize it and then this clamp um, holds it in place and of course the clamp has a you know a screw so you know they call it the the light lampshade lens clamp and the light lampshade lens clamp screw but let's do a traditional uh, installation here. This is a very standard um, um, sewing machine bulb. Uh, it's a bayonet type, meaning it has two little pins. And the contacts here, the little raised contacts here on the end of it, go in and push against what's called spring clips in there and it's 120 volts most of them are 15 watt the color is about 3000 K and it puts out about a, a normally around 100 to 125 um, lumens of light and the average life is about 200 hours and it costs about two dollars. Now you can get the incandescent bulbs now in kind of specialty up to six to eight dollars that um, put out up to two, uh, last up to two thousand hours and put up to out almost a hundred uh, or two hundred lumens, almost two hundred in that same three thousand K. So they're the ones I've seen are 10 to 15 watt and lumens approaching 200 or 200 and they'll last up to 2,000 hours and you can get them in clear frosted like this one. Uh, the normal light has a little tinge of yellow but the frosting handles that and you can get them in daylight. So a standard bulb like this is two bucks and the fancy ones are six to eight. But anyway, you just you, you put it in with those two little pins normally are going to be kind of uh, lined up at the top and bottom of most of the singers. See how that just slipped right in? But if you're off, it won't go in very far if your pins aren't lined up with the groove. So just get it up there and gently turn it and boom. You'll, you'll find where those slots are. Once it's there push it towards the back of the bulb a little bit and I mean it, it only goes like a 32nd of an inch and then turn it towards you usually it turns towards you 
and then it's it's in there. Ta da! So then the lampshade mounts uh, on this model. It takes two screws. You you might see a 404 that takes one screw, and you might see the 401As and 403s and the 500s. Some some of the shades took one screw, and some took two. In this style uh, of screw, these are big heavy-duty screws. I think I told you when when I took them out, and this kind of spring thing on there. But one is longer than the other. So if I can line them up there, one is about a half inch longer than the other and it goes up in the thicker part of the lampshade and the lampshade kind of tapers as it goes back here so the shorter one goes in here and it just screws in righty tighty and you, you tighten them up very firm because you don't want this rattling around or coming loose when the machine's vibrating I'm only going to put in one and then I'm going to show you what this uh, standard bulb looks like with when it's lit up. And I turn off my last light. So there you go. Not too bad. And it looks better in the camera. I see it looks brighter in the camera than it does really here on this on the sewing bed. But I, I even put some fabric in there, huh? To kind of show you but the idea was that this focusing lens put the light here down by the sewing and the needle bar and feed dog area that was the principle so that's a standard light bulb All right so Last, this one lasts about 200 hours. It costs about $2, uh, 3,000K color, and about 110 lumens, I think is what it said on the package. So let me turn that off so it starts cooling down because it definitely does get, get hot. I turn it off, yeah. So while that's cooling down, um, let's look at the LED bulb. So, uh, this is a pretty common LED bulb. It has about 60 to 70 LED emitters. I did get one bulb for my wife on her 301 that had 108. And it's longer than this, of course, but it fit. This is about the same size or a little shorter than the standard incandescent bulb. And it's bayonet style. It plugs into the light socket the same the same way. It's got this uh, soft rubbery silicon covering the the LEDs, and you can see all the internal little the little diode or transistors or chip or whatever is in there. You can see that just fine. And uh, these usually cost about six to say eleven dollars. And uh, I was happy because a while back I bought a handful of them at So Classic, uh, and I think she had them on sale for six bucks. And I bought a handful of them, and hey, hey, I was happy um, because most places the shipping's more. I just looked there a few minutes ago to see if she had any left, and she's got them on sale for $3.95 right now. But anyway, you can find them all over. Just make sure it is the type that will fit your machine, the Bannett style. If you have any question, usually the sellers online will list all the machines that it'll fit, and I mean it fits hundreds of machines. So, now, this... Um, I've seen these as low as four dollars and as high as twelve, but I'd say about six is the average price. 
the reason we like them is that the, the color is 6,000 plus K, not 3,000 like the other. The lumen is 3 to 340 on the shorter LED bulb. Uh, it's more than that on my, on my wife's 108 lumen. I think it's, oh, man, I want to say 480 or something. Um, the hours, the life expectancy is 30,000 hours. And um, it does not get hot like the standard bulb does. And uh, my wife was complaining. She was doing a project and a lot of sewing. She says, like, like my fingers are burning. It's, so, it's hot in here and the light is hot and... So that's the first time I bought her an LED bulb years ago. Back then I paid about 14 bucks for it. And uh, like I said, I bought this for six, uh, including postage. So anyway, the less heat, like two to three times the lumens, uh, instead of standard two to 2,000, 200 to 2,000 hour life, 30,000 life, and it's it's warm to the touch that like if you picked up a cup of coffee in a ceramic mug or something you know I mean it's warm you can tell it warms up but while it's on I can touch and hold it versus this one the standard one gets hot in about five seconds you know so uh, to put in the LED and you can get the, most of them come in white, but you can get them in kind of the yellow, like incandescent look if that, uh, of light, if that's what you want. But uh, most people prefer the white. So let me take this off and I'll show you because on this vintage Singer, the 301, 401, 403, 404, 500, 503, where they have this uh, lens, when when you use an LED light with this lens it puts some uh, crazy shadows on the bed um, because of the way parts of this lens are raised and thickened so the lens works good with an incandescent bulb but with the LED we take it out so we just go into the back there and remove the clamp and the clamp and the screw. Hello. And I see these um, lenses all the time on eBay for ten bucks, with or without the clamp and screw. So I got a few in a drawer, but that way um, you don't have it. Now, just just for the heck of it, to to show you if you. In, are installing it there is a groove a shelf like a groove right in here and the bolt and the lens kind of fits in there and slides up to the front like that Whoop. then you then of course you, you use the clamp and the screw but there is a little a groove and shelf that the edge of the lens fits on. So this is cooled off now. Let me take that out and you put in the, like I said, the LED the same way for this model. Pins up and down, push it in a bit and turn it towards you. And then I'll put the lampshade back on here with the one screw. Just to save a little time and then we will try that out. I don't have a temperature gauge or a light meter. I, I thought it'd be interesting to turn the light on and take a temperature reading and a light meter but anyway there's the white LED light. Let me turn this off and let me turn this off. And that's the white LED light. So uh, the white seems to be more clear. Uh, I'm going by what my wife says and other friends and family and stuff. 
that they really like the LED light. It's easier on the eyes. It's more even. They like the white because it's very clear. It doesn't change colors of anything. And it's cool. So I like it because I'm a thrifty miser and it lasts, you know, so much longer. <laughs> but anyway, that's the difference between the uh, incandescent and the LED. So since, since I, I sell mine with LEDs, unless the people ask me to change it out, usually when they see it, if they're not familiar or already have one or with it, they, they say, no, no, leave that in. I, I like it, you know. So I just put the other screw in, make sure it's firm, and that's it. So... I took uh, some pictures before of each one of these, um, you know, and I'm going to maybe put them both on one frame or something and put it at the end of this video so, you know, you can see uh, at the top the incandescent, at the bottom is the LED or something. But, um, and I'll put so classic. Uh, Sue's website in the information section of below the video but you can you can buy them all over just uh, compare prices because they vary quite a bit you know they vary quite a bit and look at shipping and all that and then I, I you know Walmart and Joann's and uh, Michael's all those kind of places here around the United States, they might sell them too. I don't know. I just usually shop around online and try and find a good price. So look look for my pictures at the end of this video. And thanks for tuning in to, to learn about the LED versus incandescent and the lens and how to remove and replace it. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Here come the pictures.